Oh yeah. Today's the day. It's been like a week, maybe longer, since I posted my last video on making the stick bait. We've come a long way. I've been working every day at it, researching, developing, prototyping, experimenting, more ings. Today's the day. We are taking a leap forward. We're leaving technologies of the past in the past and we're moving on to 2022 and beyond. It's gonna get sweet in here. Oh yeah. I'm talking stick baits, 3D printed. 3D printed. 3D printed. I have never used a 3D printer before. First one to say it, uh, they're cool. Don't get me wrong, I have always been like, yeah, they're sweet, but I don't really have an interest in one. I don't need one. What do I need one for? They're cool, but they're just not, you know, like, what do I need it for? Until I need one, I don't need one. Now I need one. So the first thing is we got a prototype made out of wood, right? Carved it up, got the style, the size, right? The shape, which took forever to figure out exactly how I wanted the shape, but we got everything done. From there, I need a master right, to be able to make a mold, to be able to cast them, to be able to get resin lures, right, to make high volume of that. We needed a master, so I needed one perfect. Remember back in the other video when I said I had OCD? I have OCD. I need it to be perfect. That's just how my mind works. So I could never really get it 100% perfect with wood. So, ideas sparked. And I said, you know what? What if I 3D printed one? Could I 3D print one and get one perfect? I contacted a 3D printer. He's right down the road. Really cool guy, really cool shop. Went to his shop, had him 3D print a lure for me. I taught myself how to use Fusion 360. Uh, it's a CAD program where you can design 3D renderings and then send them off to the 3D printer. So I taught myself how to do that. Spent like a week and a half designing the lure. I got the lure. I'm gonna show it to you now. So I designed that all in Fusion 360. Then from there, I took that design and I brought it to the 3D printer where we would do test prints. He did, he has what's called filament printers, typical usual 3D printer where it like spits out the little resin coil, right? And like goes around and around and around. Problem with those printers and what we're doing is it's not gonna be super smooth. So you'll actually have like the, the lines of the filament. So it's not very smooth. So it's not something that I would wanna then make a mold out of and then cast. Fast forward again, now they have resin 3D printers, which then prints it out of a vat of resin and it gets smooth it is basically the gist of it. What I had him do is test print me a couple of lures so that I could get the sizes and the shapes dialed in so that then when my resin printer came, I was able to just print it. And I knew that that file based off of my test 3D prints was gonna be perfect. We have it. Dude, I mean, I hope you guys can see that. That thing is sweet. So I don't know if you can see this, but like all the lines, right? There's a, there's lines in it. Right, like you can hear it. They're little, but you could see them. And if I molded this, all those lines would show up. But this is the shape. I know it's green. It's not gonna be green. That's just the filament I used. But this is the print. I mean, this thing is badass. I mean, look at the shape of the head, right? The eyes, I put the gills into it. I mean, this thing is, it's money. That is a sexy looking bait right there. I mean, just my opinion again, but I would, I mean, this is a bait, dude. That thing is beautiful, streamlined. It reminds me of like a Ferrari. So these are the test prints, got the size, perfect. Let's make one where it is 100% smooth and resin printed. So what I then did is did a bunch of research on resin printers to figure out what I needed. And now it's here. They're here. It 
It's here. Holy cow. All right, this looks like the washing and cure station because after you print the resin, and you need to wash it and cure it. This is the printer. 3D Print EO. This is where lures are made. This is where giants are caught, right here. Giants are caught right here. People say you need a boat. Nope, this is what you need, right here. Toolkit. Comes with a tool. It's going very delicate. There she is, in all her glory. Wow. Packaging is incredible. All right, so that is it. Let's get her set up and do a test print. But first I need to clean all this up. This place is a disaster. So I basically have already gotten everything that I need. I was just waiting on this printer. Oh nice, comes with gloves. Ooh, and a spatula. Sweet. Plastic spatula, power cord, flush cutters. It has a carbon filter. So the fumes are like pretty bad on this supposedly, depending on like what resin you use. So this printer actually comes with a carbon filter. And the other thing I got is some screen protectors. It's working. Screen protected. Insert the build platform. This is the build platform. Build platform inserted. Whoa. Loosened. Something's happening. Something is happening. Let's test it. Excellent. Print, try test. It's printing. It's printing. It's printing. Uh... Is it done yet? It's on layer two of 
404. This is going to take a while. Okay, so this one is just a test file just to be able to check to make sure that I have all the stuff right, and then we're going to print the first lure. Dude, this is exciting. Let's go. 96%. We're getting there. We're getting there. I set up the wash and cure station, so this is where you cure. This is where you wash. So after the part comes out of the resin, it's still all covered in like liquid goo. So you gotta clean it off in alcohol and then you gotta cure it under UV light so that it becomes rock hard. And then we're good. So again, this one is just a test. This one's just a test product. So it's like a little sample that has like a bunch of test figures on it. You match them all up to make sure that you got the print quality where you want. Then we're gonna print one of these guys. So that's probably gonna take like, I don't know, 11 to 14 hours. So it's gonna be an overnight, but stay tuned and we'll keep you posted on how this comes out. It's done. It is done. Not too shabby. Let's see how we did. Basically, it's just a little test and you line everything up. Okay, we have the print files done. I have no idea. I mean, they look good to me. If anybody can, if anybody knows resin printing, please let me know. But I mean, everything looks good for the most part. It's just this thin little, little stuff. Like I think just washed off in the alcohol, but everything else looks really clean. So I'm just gonna try it because like it's a bigger piece. Nothing's really that small, so we'll just try it and see what happens. Well, ten hours. Let's see what we got. All right, here goes nothing. 2,727 layers later. I'm gonna periodically keep you guys updated on how this goes. This will be ready at three in the morning. All right, here we go. Okay, so it was like hours later, first print of the lure failed. I think we had something wrong with the support settings. <laughs> That's not a lure. So we're on to print number two. Right now it looks good. I've paused it a couple of times and checked it. So it looks pretty good so far, but print number one, not good. Not good. I'll keep you updated. Awesome. Okay, so that first one failed miserably last night. It literally just, I think the supports weren't right and they pulled away and the thing just got ruined. Luckily I caught it early enough, but this one worked. Oh yeah. All right, I'm gonna take it out, I'm gonna clean it up, I'm gonna check it out. Dude, that looks so awesome. Look how sick that is. So I'm gonna do an initial like, little rinse in this bad boy.
How sweet does that thing look? That looks so good. Alright, let's break it off the build plate. Alright, my camera just had a freak out. The memory card just had a freak out. So, uh, I just lost the footage where I cleaned it in the alcohol and I took it off the build plate. But that's basically what happened. Popped it right off, cleaned it right up. I don't know what happened. The camera just went dead. And then it said that it lost the memory. So, thanks, Sony. Not bad. Should be able to sand those right up. This thing's heavy. Send it through this thing again. Totally a lure. The thing is heavy. I can't get over how heavy that is. Now it goes to bake. So you just do this for a couple minutes and it cures all the resin real hard. That thing is totally a fishing lure. Well, there you have it, folks. That is a fishing lure. In comparison to my other one, nice and smooth. Just gotta do a little bit of light sanding, and hopefully that'll come right out. But that looks pretty good. Wow, dude, this stuff sands super easy. It's almost like, it's almost like Bondo. That thing is heavy. I can't get over how heavy that is. Almost five and a half ounces. Five and a half ounces. I mean, compared to this one, this thing weighed nothing because it's hollow. 1.39. So that thing weighed nothing. This thing is almost five ounces as it is. Wow. It sands up so nice. I can't get over how good it sands. I mean, it's like, it's almost like a giant chunk of Bondo. It's kind of how I feel. I mean, nothing is really that bad. Well, there you have it, folks. I mean, that is it. So, that worked unbelievably. I mean, really unbelievably. There was a very very steep learning curve uh very steep learning curve to, to figure this out to go from like concept and idea and wooden lure to this now being printed out of 3d material i mean this thing is so heavy you could th I, I bet you you could throw this and not have an issue if you wanted like a sinking one uh it's beautiful it came out better than expected it's perfect i've sanded it down with a thousand grit sandpaper uh, it's super smooth, and on the next video, we're going to start molding these and figuring out how to produce them out of resin. So this one, we've, now we've got the base, we can move on from there. Uh, 
stop what you're doing, hit the like button. And if you're not subscribed, you should probably hit that little subscribe button uh, for more content like this on the next one. Like I said, we're doing the mold and we're moving on in the evolution of getting from concept and idea to perfect stick bait, ready to throw for striped bass and tuna. Thanks for watching guys. This one, this was a cool one, but you're definitely not gonna wanna miss the next one.